welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today we are going to use the lovely ha uh, Sailing Home um, stamps to make this card. Now, a few people had asked how to do the, um, the Life Preserver ring here, so I will show you that as well. So let's get started. Um, as I say, we're using uh, some of the Sailing Home stamps. Um, one thing I did do earlier was to use one of these little dies. It's this one here. And I have cut, I have used some of the copper uh, foil. Let's pop that on white so you can see it. And I've cut out this little piece here. And that's going to make the middle of my compass in a moment. Um, the other little bit of preparation I wanted to show you was how to do um, this, how to make this piece here really easily. So what you want to do is you want to take two punches, one larger than the other. I'm using one and a half and a two inch punch. And the first thing you want to do is to punch the smaller one. Then you're going to take the larger punch and then you can line that up nicely in the middle so you get an even-ish even -ish circle around the edge. So there's my um, my two uh, my my white layer. Now you could colour this with a marker. Another way to do it is to have do the same thing again. I only did a half a one this time, and then just cut that in half. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow glue on opposite sides. And you can do either white onto, um, this is one of our lovely new colours, this is Pretty Peacock. So you can do either white onto Pretty Peacock or Pretty Peacock onto white. Doesn't matter which way round you, um, you do that. But that is your little life preserver. Easy peasy. Very good to, uh, very easy to do. Um, and to make it look even better, use some mini dimensionals around the edge to just pop it up um, when you stick that down. I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to stamp first but let's get those get those little bits all ready. Okay so time for some stamping and I am bringing in my base layer and um, in the UK or if you're using A4 uh, this is going to be five and a half by three and three quarters or if you're using US letter this is going to be uh, five and a quarter by four is your layer. Why do we not all have the same paper wouldn't that be better? It certainly would be for my maths. Okay now I'm using a second stamp set here and these really coordinate together. These are actually shown slightly smaller on here so the lighthouses are the same are actually the same size and what you'll find is the dies that cut this one out as near as possible cut this one out too a little bit of a trim but if you've got both these work really well together. Oops I've got those stamp already and I'm going to start off by stamping um, a little bit of C with this one, with a high tide one. If you don't have high tide, you can still do a card like this. Just do a little bit of water colouring maybe um, for your, um, your C layer. Now it depends whether you like a line down at the bottom, but if you don't, and I'll just do it like that here. I've gone all the way to the bottom. On this example and that's the seaside spray beautiful beautiful color right so now I'm going to um, use the uh, pretty peacock ink ink up my yacht and stamp that and then what I'm going to do is to take a blender pen and then just blend some of that coloured ink out and a little bit on the sail as well and it just gives a little bit of soft colouring without it being too much 
Um, and also then you can't see the waves through the hull of the ship because that would be all wrong. <laughs> so it fixes that as a problem. You could leave the sails kind of white with just the little blue um, if you preferred, but I quite like that, that look. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more stamping now, this time with some crumb cake. I'm going to stamp my um, compass up there and then I'm going to just pop a little hole through the middle of my compass. That was not through the middle. I need a new chip stand. And put my um, and I'm just using one of the metallic brads. We've got these in a range of colours. So the one I did for my sample one was in silver. But this one I'm using a little bit of copper. I love this. So it does actually turn what you want to do when you stick this onto the card, in case I forget to tell you in a moment, is put this on dimensionals and lift it up a bit and then it'll still turn. If you glue it down, it kind of holds these pieces down too tightly and, um, and then it won't turn and it's more fun when it turns. So um, that's what I would suggest. Um, we also want to stamp a greeting. Now I did put a nautical greeting on my original card which is lovely, which is set sail in the direction of your dreams. But if you want to make this a birthday card, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, this image here. Here's to celebrating you out of perennial birthday. And just stamp that straight onto the card. And then here's our little ring that we did earlier. And I'm going to pop that around that piece there. Now it's looking pretty full, but you know, more is more. <laughs> I think I did a lot more C on this one than I did on my original on my original card. So we might lose some of our birds here, otherwise it's gonna be super crowded. But a little bit of birdie in there. And that is from the, um, the sailing home, has got those birds in there. We're going to layer this up onto a pretty peacock card base. And this is quite a dark card, so you'll definitely need a, an inner, not glue. What did I say earlier to myself? Note to self, <laughs> we are using dimensionals. So let's pop, pop one either side of there as well, and it'll just support it and mean that you can give it a little turn, which is very satisfying. So let's those up turn that over so yes what I was saying was this is quite a dark card base um, so I wouldn't want to um, I would want to put a, a little piece inside so we are going to do that and let's just again use the um, pretty peacock and put a little you can also do birthday cheers all round. That's also out of perennial birthday. And that is not straight, but straight, I promise you, is overrated. So just going to pop that inside the card. You know I'm going to go away and stamp that again, don't you? You just know I am. <laughs> but that's going to go on the inside of the card. So there you go. Slightly different look with them. Let's have a look at which we prefer. I think this one, I think I've got, gone for too much C here. I've got a bit carried away with the C. So maybe one layer of C rather than three might be a better option. Um, but I hope you like the, the design of the card. So this is made with the uh, Sailing Home stamp set and the Smooth Sailing dies. And these are really fun goodies to play with. Thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room. I look forward to welcoming you back again soon.